All right, we just finished a beautiful walk on the beach. Look at the beach here. So nice. This is Josie. We're out here in Siesta Key, and it is beautiful. How long were we walking? Do you remember? It's about, you can't see the time. Hour and a half walk on the beach, soaking in the beautiful sunshine, watching God's creation at work. Yeah, you know, I was reading a quote just recently. It says, properly exploited, one good idea gained from a walk on the beach could be worth 10 lifetimes of hard work. 10 lifetimes of hard work. So the, the idea is to get out in God's nature and um, just allow yourself to be open to the Holy Spirit and allow the Lord to speak to you. Allow Him to reflect to your heart the things that He has for you to do today. So my question every morning when I'm meditating lately has been God's will. What is your will for me today, God? What do you want me to to do today what do you have for me today what's your will for me today what is God's will for me today that's what I'm always asking myself um, or I'm asking I'm asking uh, God who lives within me to reveal what he wants me to do today and remember it is a day-by-day -day thing so you don't have to uh, figure out what you're gonna do or have to do for the rest of your life just figure out what does he want you to do today What's his, what's his plan? What's his will for you today? And uh, listen to his voice and do what he has for you to do today. And if you do that every day, guess what? <laughs> Your life will be made up of doing the will of God. And that's the happiest life you could ever have. So properly exploited, one great idea obtained while taking a walk on the beach could be worth 10 lifetimes of hard work. You know, you're out in nature, you get that great walk, uh, great word, you get an idea for a new business or a new, um, just a, a new product, a new service, some new idea that you get. And, uh, and you exploit that idea, you know, under God's direction. Could be worth 10 lifetimes of hard work. And there's so many people out there, and I used to be one of them, that would teach and believe that it's all about the hustle, it's all about the grind. Got to get up and get on my grind. And uh, it's just simply not true. I, I remember one time, uh, Chris Gouldy, buddy of mine, he was doing a, a webinar and he was selling a, an incredible product. The, the product was worth, I mean, the product was worth 20, 30,000, but he was selling it for just $1,000. And uh, he had a three hour offering and he, and he only had a thousand available. He sold a thousand of them, I think within three hours is what it was. And so he, he had a one million dollar, uh, three hour, he had a million dollar day. And it didn't take him a lifetime to earn a million dollars. It took him three hours because he had a great idea, a great product, a great service. He gave value and he received value in return for the value that he gave. And um, so, you know, these are the ideas that that don't always come to you when you're on the hustle and the grind. Sometimes when you're on the hustle and the grind, you just get, you just distracted. Sometimes the best ideas you could ever have come with, with just with you in nature, enjoying God's beauty, like my Peter's doing over here. Look at this. You see her? There she is. Enjoying the nature of creator. Hey, I love you. I'll see you next time.